Welcome comrades to this video. We're going to do a leak code challenge in Python. This one is called the shuffle string. I'm going to skip the description because I'm going to explain it through the explanation. So if you're doing this problem, it's good to read through that. But first I'll do the explanation of how it works. Then I will explain how to solve it and then we'll do the code for the problem. So let's go through the example so we can make sense of this. All right, so they're going to give us a string here. This one is an example of code lead, which they have here at the top of the picture. Then they have the indices in which they are positioned or they want us to reposition them from. So in this case, four, five, six, seven, zero, two, one, three. And what they want us to do is shuffle that uh, to a new set of string. In this case, we're just going to start at zero and go all the way to the end. So zero, one, two, three, four and we're gonna fill in the blanks here. So let's draw that out so you can kind of get an idea. So they give us this code leet is our string. Then they give us the indices, four, five, six, seven, zero, two, one, and three. They're shuffling, re rearranging one and two to confuse us. All right, so this is our indices. Uh, make sure I'm spelling that right, indices, yes. All right, and then we're gonna take a new string, so we're just gonna draw out the index here. Two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And what they're gonna want us to do is have this be our answer, or our new string. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pair this up. So what we could do is start here. We're gonna do a for loop through this here, this indices here, and grab the letter. So for example, four is our first one. So we're gonna take four, we're gonna grab C, and move it down to here to this position four, and put C. Then we're gonna take five, we're gonna move O down here, move it there. Then we're gonna take six, and move D down here. Then we're gonna take seven, move E down here. Then we're gonna go keep going, we're gonna take zero, which is L, we're going to move it over here. Then we're going to take two, which is E, and we're going to move it right there. Then we're going to take one, which is E, and we're going to move it right there. Then we're going to take three, or T from three, and then we're going to move it right there. And so that is our answer, lead code. All right, hopefully that makes sense on how you solve it. So let's code that and see how that looks. All right, so first we're going to, just gonna store or create an empty string, which is this one right here. And I'm just gonna call it answer. Then we're gonna create our for loop, which is here, and we're gonna loop through this indices. So that looks like this, for i in range. And we're gonna do the entire length of indices. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to build this answer here. And how we're gonna do that is by just kind of like I showed you here in this process. So what that looks like is answer, we're gonna store it in answer, and we're gonna append or add it to each time we for loop through this. And we're going to bring in S, which is the, the code letter here. We're gonna bring it down. So that's S, and how we grab that is uh, do indices, and then dot index at position I. Okay, so what that means is we're gonna take the index of the indices, so whichever position, so four, we're gonna take that one of this one here, we're gonna grab the S here and then we're going to store it in answer string. All right, so that's really the key line right there. Hopefully that makes sense. And then all we gotta do is return result. And that will give us back that new array that we just built. So let's go ahead and run that on all test cases, make sure I have everything correct. And Oh, I don't want result, I want answer. I wanna make sure I'm... 
All right, let's go. And it, and it works correctly. All right, well, hopefully that all makes sense. If you have any questions, leave those in the comments and hopefully I can get to them. I try to get to as many as I can. And thank you for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. So long.